Christmas is over, and we're on to a, a new year and a pretty good start at it too, because the Sonic Twitter going dummy, and no, not the official Sonic Twitter, and not anything Sega related, but Sonic trending tab on Twitter is still going dummy. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing it lately, and I was just going, browsing through everything, and I saw a plethora of tweets about Sonic and then I started delving into you know sometimes you get good stuff like hard work nice piece right there and occasional talks about the frontiers or gameplay from other games and whatnot but then I came across something that I just said just saw it becoming like an ongoing recurring topic and it's about Sonic's quotes and I gotta say, it don't make no sense. So before we start anything, like before I get into anything major, I just want to say that anything I say in this video is an opinion. You don't have to believe me. And I'm not going to force my opinion on you. And whatever I say in this you know, video it may not be true to you. It might, you might be indifferent. How do I feel about the situation? I will tell you that I don't care. The Sonic's quills in his model from Forces, which was also from Lost World, which is also from Runners, will it affect the gameplay of Sonic Frontiers? No, not really. Do Sonic Team need to change the model or make a new one? And there's only one right answer to this. And the answer is yes. Now let's talk about it. Why should they change the model? For one, Forces is done. And that era from 2017 and back when Runners was out, whenever Runners came out, because I didn't get a chance to play. But that game is, those games are long gone. They're done. I'm expecting Sonic to look brand new in a, in a future installment. A new installment that is promising us open world gameplay. And I want me some Breath of the Wild. So I would definitely love some Sonic looking like something else. You can tell that Sonic does not look right in the environment that he is placed in because he stands out like a sore thumb. And it's annoying. It's very weird. I think he's just out of place and it's breaking the immersion of this beautiful open space where you can run around as Sonic the Hedgehog. And seeing him an ecstatic forces pose just annoys me to no end and it's not like I'm annoyed and I'm going to like go tweet about it no 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 I think I'm annoyed because like this could be a placeholder model and I want to give them the benefit of the doubt that they have a new model in store and I know people are gonna be like well you know it's Sonic and it doesn't look bad I'm like I agree it doesn't look bad the models fine the model is fine for what it is, but I don't think it's fine in a setting like what we have now. Especially another topic to talk about. Marza Studios. Owned by Sega Sammy. They literally, these are the people that make the Sonic CGI openings and cutscenes in certain games. You know, the, the famous opening from Sonic Unleashed, that was also made by Marza. They made the same trailer. For Frontiers, you can clearly see it's their style. And it's crazy to me that Sonic's Quills and the animation, the, tr the trailer that we got at the Game Awards, it looks good, right? But guess what is also good? The model there. And Sonic has longer quills than his counterpart, which is the Forces model that is shown in game footage of on Twitter that is gone now. And now it's making... Twitter, well, Sonic Twitter, you know, the tag, a literal storm to walk through because now everyone's literally trying to go at each other's throats over an opinion. It's an opinion. Literally, everyone has their preference on what they want Sonic to be, 
and that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Is you can't do anything about that. Where do I stand in all of this? Well, for me, my opinion is yes. It is only one answer. And yes, you should want them to change the model. It shouldn't be the, oh, if this is what they want to do, this is what they want to do. Because realistically, that didn't work with the Sonic movie. Everyone went at Paramount and said that this needs to change because this is not Sonic. I'm not saying Sonic in Forces, the Forces model isn't Sonic. No, 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 no. But we want to change and it happened. And look how good the Sonic movie is. Now we're getting a sequel with all the characters looking how they're supposed to. This is good. But for this model, it doesn't fit the game. What should be happening is that we should be giving our constructive criticism on what Sonic needs to look like in this game because he can't look like Forces Sonic. Literally, this game is supposed to be, you know, a breath of fresh air for people coming into the series because open world right now is so popular. You want to have everything so new for everyone to experience something grand. That's why I want Sonic's model to change. It's not because, you know, other opinions online. It's because Sonic, what they're describing is a change for the better. They're not sacrificing quality. They want everything to make sense. They want everyone to buy this game. They don't want to sacrifice anything to make the game not poor so it can reach out for everyone to be able to buy. It's on it's multi plat It's literally going to be advertised heavily. This year is about Sonic. Literally, we have Origins, we have the movie, we have games that Sonic's been featured in. From last year, probably still gonna go on, who knows how long. It's his year, it's his big year. So to top it all off, they're going to put the effort in and make something grand at the end, which is November. They have literally nine months to 10 months to get whatever they need to get done. But I expect a new model because this is something that if it started a war on Twitter just to talk about Sonic's quill size, which is not the thing. It's not just his quill size. It's just the model in general. I want to see something new. I'm not saying they can't reuse it. Obviously, it's a placeholder, but like soon, they're going to have to show us real gameplay and not just pictures. And once we see the gameplay, and if it's still the Forces model, People are going to be mad and it's justified because people see Sonic now and it's a joke. No one's not excited as they once were about Sonic games. It's now the norm. Not to just hate on Sonic, but to, to speak up and tell them what's wrong with the games. Usually they listen too much or they don't at all. But what I'm getting at, my opinion, my opinion is, is that we need a new model because we're moving Sonic to the future and in order for Sonic to be great, I want to see how good a newer model will look in this new world instead of reusing Forces model if they're not going to actually, you know, adjust some things about the model. He doesn't look furry, like furry enough. He doesn't look expressive. He's still in the idol pose. The idol pose never blink just to let you know if you never knew it looked lifeless he didn't have a, an idle animation he just looked static he did sonic was just there we need something new and regardless even if you are like whoever you guys are who your opinions are i love to hear your opinions it doesn't make sense to reuse a model that caliber when you're having a game that the scope is literally growing and growing and growing as you're developing to have a model that's taken out of a game that they literally spent less time on to plop it in a new game that it doesn't fit. You see that? That is the equivalent of putting SA1 and 2, one of those models, into Heroes and thinking it will fit. That is the equivalent of putting the 06 model and reusing it for Unleashed and saying, this will be, you know, this will fit. Because there are some people that are in the Sonic community and then people outside the bubble that are looking in 
are saying, oh, it's just quill size, or it's just a model, let them do it. It's not just that, it, it's way deeper. Not that deep, but it's way deeper than what they think. What we're saying is that that model does not fit the world that Sonic is in currently, and we need to have it changed. All right, that's enough of me rambling. You can go back to, like, you know, going on Twitter. I'm definitely going to be just watching the comments go by. Not not on my video, obviously. No one's going to watch this. But the comments on Twitter, read and, and talk about it to my friends. It's literally what I do. I guess I'll see you guys whenever something else pops up. Later.